this is the kind of down and distance where you can come after an opposing quarterback. Nix trying to extend the play. Now he will tuck and run and is taken down at the 44-yard line. Well, Max Johnson, seventh start of his young career at quarterback. Pressure up the middle. He gets it out quickly. He does so to Butte. Hey, Sean, Butte, one of the best receivers in all of college football, starts the game like that. Absolutely explosive. 55 yards on the first play for LSU. Well, they blitz these inside linebackers, which allows for a lot of green grass for Butte to work on the slant. And when you get the ball in his hands, it's a problem. The guy is so explosive out of the break. Johnson. Just going to dump it off to TDP, Ty Davis Price, and he'll get back some of it. Johnson going to go to the end zone, and Boutte! How about that? Solves all problems, doesn't he? Kayshawn Boutte! about the throw from Max Johnson dropping it in the bucket two defenders in the area we're down in six Johnson with men right at his feet and the flag comes down and as he tried to settle into that Johnson Pressure right in his face, and he is taken down and taken down hard that time. Look at Auburn along the front. I mean, they're just begging you to run the football. I mean, just begging you. You got nobody on the left side of the offensive line. Ed Ingram could have gone to the safety, and yet. And make it 13 straight for Cade York. Johnson. Looks to his left and then is taken down by Derek Hall. Yeah, and Hall does a really good job. He engages with the center Shanahan. And then as soon as Johnson kind of gets caught. He was looking for Robertson. And they came up short on that night. Third and 15. Johnson drives it. Pinpoint accuracy. And Jack Best turns on the heat. 41 yards. Yeah, just a great job of executing the mesh right here. You're going to see on the left side, Smith. He's the pick man. Well, Besh comes free. And that was a great read there from Johnson. As you see those guys cross face, whoever wins as they cross face, that's where you got to go with the football. Hits him. And then the snapper, Atkins, the holder. They love this operation. New York will add to it. <laughs> Nix trying to make magic still on his feet and then chucks it to the end zone for a touchdown to Tyler Fromm somehow some way it was the right way for Bo Nix how about this from Bo Nix rolling to his right trying to get one quickly into the flat but he keeps it alive makes a couple guys miss buys time allows his wide receivers to uncover and throws a strike for the touchdown what an unbelievable play from Bo Nix those are the type of plays he's capable of making he's athletic he's so gifted improvisational skills are off the charts Set up the first touchdown in Auburn's win. To the outside, this is Neighbors, and Neighbors gets free! Malik Neighbors. And this was nice right here, getting the ball out of the hands quickly, and Neighbors turning on the Jets up the sideline. Heels nearly on your own goal line. From his own end zone, gets protection out of the backfield. Shivers makes a man miss, and gets more out to the 24, and an Auburn first down. Great job by Nix. Nothing there. Deep, soft cover two from LSU's defense. Flot. Rolling the dice here at Tiger Stadium. Nix. Is he going to do it again? 
throwing, scrambling, searching, and finding. He goes to Robertson. Oh, there's magic in Bo Nix on these fourth downs tonight, isn't there, Craig? It's unbelievable. I mean, where's this guy been, man? I mean, steady in the pocket. He gives it a chance. He doesn't leave the pocket too early. Sometimes you got to go, but not there. He gave it a chance. Rolled around, bot time. Much better contact and rotation this time as he puts it through. A 14 straight. Trying to give LSU a six point lead. Make it 15 straight field goals made for Cade York. Survived that and then does this downfield. Shanker with the big play again from Bo Nix. Man, just great movement in the pocket. I mean, Ali Gay coming over the top. Bo Nix escapes to his right and finds Shanker downfield. Just a thing of beauty, but there is a flag on the field on the far sideline. Unbelievable play yet again. 52-yard attempt. He missed from 51 earlier. And that is blocked. Great penetration by LSU up front. And they get in the face of Anders Carlson for a block field goal. Off the left-hand side is Jay Ward. Full extension and gets a hand on it. Usually when those guys come off the edge, it's because the operation's just a little bit slow. Number zero who is looking on, encouraging his defensive teammates. See if they can get a stop on third and 16. Johnson from behind, taking a ball is out, and Deculus jumps on it. Man. We'll send out the field goal team. Very fortunate here. Leota on the right side, number 55, just retraces. And you got to be careful there if you're a quarterback. Fortunate to be able to hop on that football. Good. Cade York on for his fourth field goal attempt. This from 51. Well struck. Skinner snapping the Atkins and off the foot of York. And with that, it's a nine-point LSU lead. As he looks on with Bigsby now back on the field. Second and ten, Bo Nix. Bo Nix downfield. Great effort that time from Kobe Hudson for the completion. He has been targeted eight times, has over 100 yards receiving. Play action now. Nix, he's going to run it. Makes a man miss and goes ahead for 12 yards and another first down. Final minute here of the third quarter. Bigsby and Shanker in the backfield with Bo Nix. And here is Nix into the end zone for an Auburn touchdown. What a way to start the fourth quarter. A great job of just putting Ollie Gay, the defensive end number 11, putting him in conflict. You'll see Ollie Gay slide inside. He's leading Auburn in rushing by a wide margin. Hunter going to test the left side, and here goes the freshman, Jarquez Hunter. What do we have here? Auburn's on the go. And finally, they ran to this play a little earlier, had some success. It's really well blocked on the outside by Troxel. And this young freshman, Auburn, is knocking on the door. And Hunter wants to burst right through it, and he does. The first lead of the game for Auburn. And it comes with 3-11 remaining. The freshman put it in. And it's 24 to 19. Max Johnson and LSU trying to stay alive late against Auburn. Across the middle, and it's intercepted. Knighton. Picks off Johnson with the interception on fourth down. Yeah, Johnson trying to work an out route to his right. It's well covered by the Auburn Tigers. He's forced to come off of his number one and just misses high. As you have the secondary defender. A new staff that a week ago when he was struggling against Georgia State pulled him from the game only to see the backup come in and win it. Tonight, he comes back into the game in the second quarter 
and put on a show. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.